Irene Moore Davis grew up her whole life hearing about Windsor's renowned Emancipation Day celebrations, but never had a chance to experience them for herself because they happened before she was born. I missed all of that. So it would be great to see it gradually rise to the level where it's once again a, a sort of a celebration that everyone can embrace and really enjoy in a powerful way. And what a celebration it was. Thousands of visitors packed into Jackson Park to see appearances from icons like Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks. It became known as the greatest freedom show on earth, celebrations that transformed the city year after year from the 1930s through the 60s. It was a huge economic engine. It brought people to this region from all over North America. And fabulous entertainers came here. There were great politicians and civil rights leaders who came. But in 1967, all that changed. The city celebrations were canceled because of the Detroit riots. Windsor City Council was afraid of civil disorder. In following years, the event failed to reach the same level of prominence it once had. If we're going to keep our heritage, our history alive, and people knowing where it is that we came from to the best of our ability, we've got to keep emancipation alive. Community groups have tried to reclaim the grandeur of celebrations past, but it's been made difficult as recent years have been plagued by cancellations. Plus, Jackson Park doesn't look like it once did. The old grandstand that was the site of all those famous speeches burnt down in 1957. Jones says he'd like to work with the city to restore it. If you look around you, you can see that it's being used for more or less a store yard or a dump yard, um, which is really truly insulting it, with a, a, a structure of such significance. Um, if it's not already a uh, heritage site, it truly should be. Jones is determined to carry on the legacy of Emancipation Day in the hopes that one day the greatest freedom show on earth will rise again in a city where many took their first steps of freedom. Sanjay Maru, CBC News, Windsor.